extraordinary. Javi Alonso. Oh, it's got in. Incredible. What a curious goal to break the deadlock. To win this at the first time, I'm asking. Lina with the free kick. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Cardiff City were expecting the big bender. And he simply tickled it in. Moments of inspirational ad-libbing from Kevin De Bruyne. The aforementioned Mr Robinson. Oh, it's got in. Incredible. Well, we talked about Lee Holmes and his left foot. And Adam Bogdan is embarrassed again in Liverpool's goal. out to Vancelo. Oh, it's gone in! And by complete accident, I think, Vancelo's shot strikes Nathaniel Knight Percival, who knows absolutely nothing about that one. Chance for a shot from distance, though, from Scott Kinch. And the wind has actually kept the ball in, and it's headed a goal, it hits the crossbar, goes, you need to get it away, and it's in the back of the net. We all thought that Kinch, the shot was going to go miles over the bar. The wind kept it in play. It surprised everyone. It came down and Paul Vines got ahead on it. Tardif couldn't get anything on it. It hit the crossbar. And in the end, Jack Mahoney has put it in the back of the net and double Thames Mead's lead. So disaster for the Green Lions. His comeback has missed the last nine games for Liverpool. And he's done just that. He squeezed it in and it's 1-1 and they've got a goal. Under the wall. They've scored against West Ham. They're back in business in the FA Cup. Alonso's got the goal. Is it going in? It is! Extraordinary. Javi Alonso has secured Liverpool's place in round four. Such quick thinking by him. Marlon oh, Beresford and come up for the corner. There was no way back. Touched up for Adam Reach. Deflected goal. Sheffield Wednesday ahead. It's been coming. They've been the better team by far in the second half. And Adam Reach gives the championship side the lead. Sibioski again, or Tarnak. He has one goal this afternoon. And they will fancy his chances of having another one, but it's Fowler. But he has caught out Tim Howard. Such quick thinking there by Fowler for two. Oh, what a goal! It's a gift. What a goal, and what a gift for Wes Burns. Closing down the hapless Joe Green. 2-0 now, and two goals in quick succession for Fleetwood. Well, he can't quite believe it. Neither could Burns. Oh, it's a lovely little flick. Asom Malonga's in. It's a brilliant second goal for him, and a fourth for Middlesbrough. But the way they worked that was absolutely fantastic. Houlihan clips it in, Byrne got a head on it. Oh, it's in! <laughs> Kyle Barkley standing on the post has put West Bromwich out in front. What a curious goal to break the deadlock. But Darren Moore's West Brom are in front. To all of them with that left foot. So, Saka here and Martinelli, the two 18-year-olds for Arsenal in the close proximity. Which, uh, junior members in terms of age, but some seniority in the way they've impressed uh, Nikola Teta to stay in the starting lineup. Premier League.
your FA Cup. Willock turns away, he's a good athlete here. Deciding not to shoot. And Saka does. Oh, and what a shot. Well, no sooner having built him up, he delivers. Wakayo Saka gives Arsenal a flying start down here in Bournemouth inside the opening five minutes. And there's the combination play. Martinelli to Saka. And that's the one place you can beat the goalkeeper at the near post. Tony has been fouled by a combination of Mike Percival and Akpan. And Tony takes it quickly! Oh, what a goal from Ivan Tony! Quick thinking and brilliant! Initially, Fernandez got his boot over the top of it. Shaw! Oh, and it's looped into the back of the net from Luke Shaw. Agonisingly out of reach for Keller Rose. Manchester United ahead. It's Luke Shaw who's got the goal. Good enough opposition on most occasions for the bottom half of the Premier League. It's not been the story today, but here come Derby and they've got one back. Now that is Premier League quality. And it's rammed home by Jack Marriott. And suddenly it's game on at Pride Park.